Hey everybody, welcome and ooh, my voice, Jesus, come on man, I know I just woke up, but Lord. <laughs> well, it should be helpful if I actually had the palettes in my hand. <laughs> you know what, it is what it is. Let's just go ahead and get into this video because I don't know what I'm doing. Hey everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Jay Ross, back with another video. I have no idea why I just said my name like that, but it is what it is. As you guys can tell by the titles down below, I am going to be bringing forth a glam light palette because of course I live, I stand, I love me some glam light products. So of course you guys know as soon as I got it, I was going to do a video. And if you follow your girl on Instagram, you already know what I'm about to talk about. Everybody probably knows because I probably put it in the comments in the thumbnail, but that's neither here nor there. I am going to be reviewing the new Glam Light X Frosted Flakes collection. Well, it's not really the whole collection because I wasn't paying for all that, but I did at least grab one of their lip kits and the Frosted Flakes palette, which I have not even opened yet. So you guys should be really, really happy that I waited to do a video with you guys, even though I hinted it on Instagram that I bought this stuff because, you know, I unboxed it on Instagram, but I did not open the palette yet. So you guys are getting the first look of the palette with me. I've said it before and I'll say it again, Glam Light and P. Louise are my favorite brands when it comes to packaging. They just they just do it. They just, they just do it up, they go all out, all that good stuff. And this was no different from Glam Light. It looks like a cereal box, like straight up cereal box, even the open tab. So the nutritional fun fact says, 15 shades per palette serving size, 18 grams, 0.06, three ounces, awesomeness 100%, creativity 100%, fun 100%, greatness 100%, glam 100%. And then on the back it says Frosted Flakes X Glam, X glam Light is the sweetest and greatest. <laughs> I couldn't go through this video when I was trying to do like Tony the Tiger, like great type thing. Anyway, so let's go ahead and actually pop this up. I really don't want to open this part. I just want to keep the box. So I'm gonna be weird and open it from the bottom because I feel like I can easily put that back together. Let me be great, okay? Comes in a cereal type bag. Come on now, if you're gonna do it, do it big, right? Like comes in a cereal type bag, that is super legit. This is the palette, once again, still looks like the cereal box. And then you open it like this. I'm super nervous of how these like shades are gonna look. Oh, there's a sheet. Always blocking blessings. This is what it looks like. Why am I singing? I don't know. <laughs> oh, brother, this guy stinks! So this is what the palette looks like. These are the shades. It is a blue, orange story, which you guys, if you don't know, blue is my favorite color. Orange is my second favorite color, and I love how those two go together, hence why I'm wearing blue headband, orange shirt. It looks red-ish on camera, but it is an orangish red, and it looks more orange in person. Now, once again, neither here nor there. I feel like it would still look good with this palette once I figure out what look I'm doing. Um, One thing I will say that like weirds me out and kind of annoys me a little bit, but not that much. I hate that the palette, like the face is like this, but then you have to turn it for the shades like this to get the names. I feel like they could have just left it like this and just put the shades like kind of like on the bottom part. But that's just me, that's a little gripe, nothing big, nothing huge. Comes with a mirror, Tony up there chilling, he waving at y'all, pointing at y'all, telling y'all be great and all this stuff.
Okay, so this is the eye look so far. In terms of the eyeshadows, it's Glam Light. I am not surprised. These shimmers are gorgeous. I don't know if they pick it up on camera the way they're picking up in person, but these eyeshadows are gorgeous. It seemed like when I took the shade Tiger Paw on like this pointed brush, it gave it like a cut crease liner look, but I didn't really cut the crease. I literally just took it on a brush because I wanted to define it a little bit more in the inner corner. And then I just dragged it up a little bit. And then I was like, what is this like, like defined line that you just gave me? This is legit for those of you who like, like this look, y'all can stop here. Y'all can stop here. Don't even worry about it. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200, okay? Finish your cereal and be on your way, all right? But for me and what I'm about, I'm definitely gonna kick it up a notch, but I am going to do my base first. So I'm gonna go ahead, do that off camera. But so far, I am loving these shadows and I'm loving this look. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this lip kit. This is the Tough Tiger lip kit. There is another one that is more of a gloss. I forgot what that one is called. It's escaping my mind right now, and I'll find looking it up. So you pull it out, and this is what it looks like. So this is what the lip combo looks like on me. That's what this lip combo looks like on me. Everybody got the gist? Okay, we're good. All right, Jay's gonna J it up, okay? All right guys, so this is the overall final and finished look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As you guys can tell, I am pretty excited because I actually love this look. And for those of you in the comments, like, oh, this look would have been really set off if you would have had lashes. I actually thought about putting lashes on, but your girl has none. I gave them away when I was planning to shut down my whole room and I have not bought any more because I usually don't wear lashes. But this look seems like it would have popped off a little bit more if I had lashes, but I'm still feeling my look. I do have like an amazing mascara look right now, but I have glitter on top of my mascara so it looks super shiny and so if you guys see like something on top of my lashes that's what it is but anywho in terms of this beautiful frosted flakes eyeshadow i'm calling it beautiful because i think it's beautiful and because i love me some oranges and blues as i mentioned this is literally on theme between the shade names and stuff like that and the pigmentation of glam light is unmatched it's beautiful don't you don't need to apply too much the shimmers i like how they applied with the brush this time as well as with my finger i like to do it with my finger more but even with the brushes these played really really nice especially the ones on the lower lash line which i applied completely with brushes and they are all shimmers except for the shade go getter which is on the outer corner, giving it a little bit of that like liner look. I don't really do like the winged liner look, but y'all can't say I didn't do a pretty good job on just doing that right there. Y'all can't, I mean, y'all can say it, I'm just not gonna listen. In terms of, of this lip kit, that's not really the shade I would go for all the time, especially the lip liner. That's definitely not a shade I would go for. Um, I think it could have been, oops, like way darker. I could think they could have did a darker one, especially because the other kit has e like a even more lighter one. That's just what I think. Do I love the packaging? Of course, I absolutely love the packaging. Do I regret that I bought it? Not really, because I do like the lipstick. It, it reminds me of like the Juvia's Place, like a little less gritty. Juvia's Place is kind of like that matte, powdery type velvety feel. You guys know I compared it to the Pat McGrath um matte trance lipsticks has that powdery feel so this has that same vibe same type look same type matte feeling just without like less powdery feeling if that makes sense if you know the lippies i'm talking about then you understand what i'm trying to say first i was like why are we doing frosted flakes but then once she told her story i was like oh this actually does hit really like it really hits home for her so that's pretty legit um 
So congrats to Glam Light and Miss Giselle on this beautiful collaboration that means so much more to you than anybody will ever know. Um, if you guys have picked up any of these items, let me know what you guys got. If you picked up the highlighter, let me know how you like the highlighter. Once again, I'm not a loose highlighter person, so I didn't want to pick it up. But I did like the concept and the package that it looks like a bowl of cereal that looks super legit. And I'm not even lying, I think she missed out on the opportunity of having a set of brushes that look like spoons. What y'all think? I'm just saying, I'm just saying that could have been it. That could have been like just a brush handle that looks like a spoon. I'm just saying, you know, bowl of cereal just got you. Okay, you know, you get me, you get me. Okay, cool. Shut your mouth, Waz. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, I am your girl, J Ross. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And yes, I love this look. I love oranges. I love blues. I don't know how many times I gotta keep saying that. And I do like this palette. I love the packaging. And was Frosted Flakes one of my favorite cereals growing up? It was one of my favorite. Lucky Charms, of course, M more for the marshmallows. Who was really eating that cereal though? I would say Captain Crunch, but that's a lie because I didn't like my mouth tore up. I really didn't. I did love Reese Puffs cereal. That's my thing. I love Reese's in general. But anyway, let me know what you guys think of this palette. Let me know what you guys think of this look. And for those of you who stuck around, I'm going to go ahead and swatch the blues of this Icy palette, which are all of them, compared to the blues of this Frosted Flakes palette. Or if you also picked up the Hershey palette and you also are grabbing this one, let me know if some of those Hershey shades are some of the same in here. Keep sharing your girl on Instagram. If you are not following me, make sure you are following me and make sure you are sticking to, to my stories and my community posts as you guys will get to pick my makeup and you'll see sneak peeks of what I could be doing a review on next. I love you guys so much. Like I said, hope you guys are staying safe, happy, healthy, and blessed. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Love you guys. Peace. I'm not gonna lie now, I kinda want a bowl of cereal. Not even gonna lie.